Hi, I'm Allison Shelley. I'm a photojournalist. Just like any journalist, my job is to report on what's happening in the world. But a photojournalist tells these stories with photos. I'm a freelancer, which means I work for different publications. Some of my time is spent doing assignments that are given to me, and some is spent photographing my own projects that I then sell to publications. Today, we're going to talk about techniques that photographers use to catch the attention of the viewer and better communicate a story. All the photos we're going to see were taken by me on my phone in Nigeria, Senegal, and Ethiopia using techniques that you can copy. And they were all taken for an Instagram feed called Everyday Africa. Let's start with this one. What stands out about this picture that I took at a tea shop in Senegal? What do you like about the way it looks? How about the colors or the shapes? For me, it was the red of the curtain. Color can be a powerful tool that you can use to catch someone's attention. But another photographic tool I used here is the silhouette. A silhouette is when a person appears totally black against a lighter backdrop. You can practice by standing a front in profile, sideways, in front of a bright window in a dark room and taking their picture. How many silhouettes do you see in this photo? In this picture of a public bus in Nigeria, our color, yellow, stands out, but it's also repeated. Repeating elements are also a pretty cool technique. See how we have the black lines repeated in the power lines above, the wall behind, and on the bus? When a bright or hard light is coming from the side, you can get very dramatic results. Like in this photo I took of a cloth weaver in Ethiopia. Think about where your light's coming from and what mood it's creating in your images when you take pictures. Is it appropriate for the mood you wanted to create? Some techniques help the viewer know what to look at. What do you think is the main subject of this picture? The guy is playing checkers, right? I use a tool called framing to draw the viewer's eyes to these men. Framing is when your background, what's behind things, or foreground, what's in front, makes a shape that goes around your main subject. How are these Nigerian checker players framed? Are they framed by a color or a shape? Maybe both. What else strikes you about this picture? Notice how if you cut the photo right down the middle from the top, that each side would be almost the same? That's called symmetry, and it's another eye-catching tool you can use. Symmetry is often something you find by chance, but it also depends on your angle. What if I'd stood a few feet to the left or right? Would my photo look symmetrical? Why not? So let's talk more about angle or perspective, because the angle that a photographer uses or perspective that they take the photo from makes a huge difference when you're looking at a picture. This is okra for sale at a farmer's market in Senegal. Where was I standing and how was I pointing the camera when I took this picture? Yep, my camera was above the table, pointed directly down. How about this one? For this one, I crouched down to about waist height. Why? Because taking a photo from a lower angle generally makes a person seem bigger, stronger, more powerful. Taking a photo from above can make someone seem weaker and smaller. I usually try to go for about eye level, even with kids, so that the viewer can connect with them better as people. So to recap, color, silhouette, repeating elements, light, framing, symmetry, and angle. These are some techniques that photographers use to catch the attention of the viewer and better communicate a story. Sometimes we use more than one technique in the same picture. How many do you spot in this photo? When I took this photo at a church in Nigeria, what stood out to me were the repeating elements of line and color. But I bet you can come up with some other techniques from our list. Next time you take pictures, try using different photography techniques and see how they help you better tell a story.